Welcome to Hydrohaven. Today we're talking about humus, often called black gold by serious gardeners. If you're looking to boost your soil's fertility naturally and sustainably, creating humus is one of the most powerful techniques you can master. In this guide, we'll focus on practical methods to create humus yourself, accelerate its formation, and apply it effectively in your garden for maximum results. What is humus and why it matters? Humus is the end product of completely decomposed organic matter, dark, crumbly, sweet-smelling material that forms when compost breaks down fully. It's primarily composed of humic substances, humic acid, fulvic acid, and human, that dramatically improve your soil structure, water retention, and nutrient availability. Unlike regular compost which still contains recognizable bits of material, humus has reached complete decomposition. It holds up to 90% of its weight in water while simultaneously improving drainage, houses beneficial microorganisms, and buffers soil pH. Think of humus as your soil's operating system. It's what makes everything else work better. Creating basic humus through composting. The journey to humus begins with effective composting. Start by building a compost pile with a proper carbon to nitrogen ratio, approximately 3 to 1 carbon rich browns, dried leaves, straw, cardboard to nitrogen-rich greens, grass clippings, vegetable scraps, coffee grounds. This balance provides optimal nutrition for the microorganisms that drive decomposition. Size matters when building your pile. A volume of at least 3 feet by 3 feet by 3 feet generates enough mass to retain heat and moisture, accelerating the decomposition process. Smaller piles will still work but take longer to break down. The materials should be slightly moist, like a wrung-out sponge, and turned regularly to incorporate oxygen. For the best results, chop or shred materials before adding them to your pile. Smaller pieces increase the surface area available to microorganisms, speeding decomposition. A good mix of particle sizes helps maintain air spaces in the pile while providing plenty of contact points for microbial activity. When your compost appears finished, dark, crumbly with few recognizable components, it's not quite humus yet. Transfer it to a separate curing pile where it can continue to mature for an additional 6 to 12 months. This aging process allows the final chemical transformations that create stable humic substances, transforming good compost into true humus. If waiting a year or more for humus seems too long, several techniques can significantly speed up the process. Vermiculture, the Worm Express. Red wiggler worms, also known as Isenia fetida, process organic matter incredibly efficiently, creating worm castings that closely resemble humus in just two to three months. Set up a worm bin with bedding materials like shredded newspaper or coconut coir, add your worms, and feed them kitchen scraps and small amounts of garden waste. The worm's digestive systems inoculate the organic matter with beneficial microbes while grinding it into fine particles that decompose rapidly. Worm castings contain high concentrations of humic acids and plant growth hormones, making them one of the fastest routes to humus-like material. Harvest the castings every few months and add them to your garden or use them to inoculate your regular compost pile. Supercharge your compost by introducing concentrated beneficial microorganisms. Create your own microbial inoculant by soaking aged, finished compost in water for 24 to 48 hours, then straining the liquid. Use this compost tea to moisten your new compost pile or spray it onto partially decomposed material to introduce organisms already adapted to breaking down organic matter. For even more potent inoculation, collect soil from beneath healthy forest trees, particularly hardwoods. This forest soil contains specialized fungi that excel at breaking down tough organic matter like lignin and cellulose. Add a few shovelfuls to your compost pile, especially in the center where moisture and temperature are most stable. Berkeley, hot composting method. Developed at the University of California, this intensive method can produce finished compost in just 18 days, which can then be aged into humus much more quickly than traditional compost. This approach requires precise conditions, a carbon to nitrogen ratio of exactly 25 to 30 to 1, materials chopped to increase surface area, moisture maintained at 55 to 60 percent, frequent turning every one to two days, and maintaining temperatures between 130 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Bokashi Fermentation Pre-Treatment Bokashi is an anaerobic fermentation process that pre-treats organic matter before composting. 
Mix food scraps with Bokashi brand, which is wheat bran inoculated with effective microorganisms, in a sealed container. After two to four weeks of fermentation, add this material to your compost pile. The pre-fermented material breaks down much faster than untreated scraps, accelerating the entire humus formation timeline. Strategic Application for Maximum Benefits Once you've created humus-rich material, apply it strategically for the greatest impact. For new beds, incorporate 1 to 2 inches of humus-rich material into the top 6 inches of soil before planting. This placement puts it directly in the root zone where plants can access its benefits immediately. For established beds, apply a half-inch layer annually as a top dressing, allowing soil organisms to gradually incorporate it without disturbing plant roots. In vegetable gardens, concentrate humus in planting holes or rows rather than spreading it thinly across the entire garden. Place a handful directly into transplant holes or create a humus-rich furrow for seeds. This targeted approach puts the beneficial properties right where your crops need them most. Targeted root zone applications. For fruit trees and shrubs, apply humus in a ring around the drip line, the outer edge of the branches, rather than near the trunk. This area contains the active feeder roots that will benefit most from humus. For lawns, create a top dressing by mixing humus with sand at a 1 to 1 ratio. After aerating, spread this mixture thinly across the surface, then water it in. The humus will gradually work down into the aeration holes, improving the root zone without requiring disruptive tilling. For immediate results, create humus tea by steeping humus-rich material in water for 24 to 48 hours using an aquarium pump to maintain oxygen levels. This creates a liquid concentrate of humus benefits that can be applied directly to plant roots or as a foliar spray. Building humus isn't a one-time event but an ongoing process. To maintain and gradually increase humus content, add organic matter to your soil at least annually. Minimize tilling which accelerates humus decomposition. Use organic mulches that decompose in place. Plant cover crops during off-seasons to add organic matter. Rotate deep-rooted crops with shallow-rooted ones. Incorporate woody materials like biochar or small twigs that decompose slowly. Creating humus is one of the most powerful steps you can take towards sustainable, productive gardening. By mastering these techniques for making and applying humus, you're building soil that will grow healthier plants with less work and fewer inputs over time. Whether you choose traditional composting, worm farming, or intensive methods like Berkeley hot composting, the result is the same rich, fertile soil that serves as the foundation for garden success. We'd love to see how you're putting these humus-building techniques to work in your own garden. Share your results in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Hydrohaven for more practical, science-based gardening advice. Together, we're building better soil for a more productive and sustainable future. Happy gardening!